How to learn English fast and effectively. Essential tips for school kids. Imagine if I told you there's a way to learn English so quickly and effectively that one day everyone around you would say, Wow, you sound so fluent. Imagine walking into a new classroom or meeting friends and speaking English with such confidence that they're amazed. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Today we're diving into the secrets of mastering English in ways that are both fast and fun, with some unexpected twists to keep you on your toes. So, get ready for an adventure because by the end, you might be surprised at how much English you'll pick up along the way. Part 1. Master the Basics of Grammar But in a fun way. Grammar might sound like a big, scary word, but think of it as the rules to a game. Just like you need to know the rules to win at soccer or chess, understanding basic English grammar helps you win at speaking English fluently. Here are a few golden rules. Nouns and verbs. Every sentence needs a person, place, or thing, a noun, and an action, a verb. For example, Lisa, noun, reads, verb, every night. Easy, right? Pronouns. To make sentences smoother, use words like he, she, it, and they. Instead of saying, Lisa reads, Lisa eats, Lisa sleeps, you can say, she reads, eats, and sleeps. Tenses. Tenses help you talk about different times. If something happened before, say, I played. If it's happening now, say, I am playing. If it's in the future, use, I will play. Practicing these simple rules brings you a step closer to fluent English. But here's a twist. Try inventing your own silly sentences with these rules. Make up stories about imaginary animals or wacky events. The sillier the sentence, the easier it'll be to remember. And guess what? You're building a solid grammar foundation without even realizing it. Part 2. Top English Vocabulary for Everyday Use Words are powerful. Just like keys that open doors, knowing the right words can open up so many conversations. Let's explore some everyday English words that'll come in handy. Greetings. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good evening. Asking for help. Could you please? Can you help me? Expressing thanks. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're very kind. A good trick? Practice using these words in real-life situations, even if it feels funny at first. For example, at the grocery store, you could greet the cashier with, Good afternoon! Or when your mom helps with homework, say, Thank you! Using these words will make them stick in your memory, and it'll also make people smile. But here's another twist. Create a list of mystery words. Each day, pick a new word to learn, but don't tell anyone. Try using it casually in conversations and see if they notice. This way, learning vocabulary becomes a fun and secret challenge. Part 3. Boosting Confidence in English Speaking Speaking in English can feel a bit nerve-wracking, especially if you're not used to it. The trick? Start small. Begin by talking to yourself in English at home. Yes, that's right. Talk to yourself. You could describe what you're doing, like, I'm brushing my teeth, or I'm packing my bag. Next, find a friend or family member who's also learning English. Try having a five-minute English conversation every day. Start with simple topics like, What's your favorite book? Or, What did you do today? Here's a twist to make it more exciting. Use a mirror. Stand in front of the mirror and pretend you're a famous actor or speaker giving a talk. Imagine an audience in front of you and speak as if you're the star. This builds confidence without anyone else watching. And who knows? 
One day, you might surprise everyone with your improved speaking skills. Part 4. Discover the joy of reading in English. Reading isn't just about learning. It's about exploring new worlds. When you read in English, you're meeting new characters, seeing strange places, and hearing new voices, all from your imagination. Here are some beginner-friendly book suggestions. Picture books. These books are perfect because they have both words and pictures. You can guess what's happening from the pictures if you get stuck. Short stories. Short stories are fun and easy to finish in one sitting. They're also great for learning common phrases, comics, and magazines. Don't forget that comics and kids' magazines are full of everyday English words and expressions. Plus, they're super fun to read. Reading will slowly help you understand sentence structures, improve your vocabulary, and make you comfortable with the English language. Here's a twist. Try reading with a flashlight under the blanket at night. You'll feel like a detective on a secret mission, which makes reading extra fun. And if it's a spooky or funny book, it'll be even more thrilling. Part 5. Tips for Writing in English Writing is a fantastic way to practice English. You don't need to write long stories or essays. Start with something as simple as a diary entry each night. Write down a sentence or two about your day like, Today I played with my friends, or I learned a new English word. You could also try writing a letter to your future self. Imagine yourself five years from now and tell future you all the fun things happening in your life now. This can be really fun to look back on later. The twist? Every Friday, write a mystery letter and leave it somewhere for a family member to find. When they read it, they'll be surprised, and you'll be practicing English. Conclusion The grand finale of our English adventure You've just taken a whirlwind tour of all the ways to learn English fast and effectively. From basic grammar to fun vocabulary challenges, from speaking in front of the mirror to reading under the blanket, it's clear that learning English doesn't have to be boring. But here's the big surprise. Drum roll, please. Learning English is just the start of endless possibilities. With each new word, sentence, and conversation, you're not just learning a language, you're opening doors to make friends from different parts of the world, read exciting books, and even watch movies without subtitles. So, are you ready to start your English adventure? Grab a notebook, a fun book, and maybe even a friend. Begin with small steps, keep practicing, and most importantly, have fun. Learning English is like building a bridge to an exciting future, and you're already halfway there. Moral. Anything becomes possible with patience and creativity. Keep learning, keep trying, and most importantly, enjoy the journey. The English language is waiting to take you places.